Have you ever wondered if our lives are just random sequences of events, or if there is something deeper, something truly cosmic at play? What if the idea of reincarnation isn't just a fantasy or myth, but the key to understanding the very essence of who we are and why we're here? Could the lives we've lived before, the souls we've encountered, and the experiences we've had all hold the answers to the challenges we face today? Stay with me, because today we're going on a journey to uncover the truth about reincarnation, a truth that may change everything you thought you knew about life, death, and the soul's journey through time. In this video, we'll dive deep into the profound mysteries that have shaped our existence across lifetimes, and I'll show you exactly how these experiences, yes, your past lives, are shaping who you are today and leading you towards the future you were always meant to create. Ready to see beyond the veil? Let's begin. Reincarnation is one of those subjects that evokes strong reactions. Some see it as mere folklore, others view it as a powerful truth. But what if there's a middle ground? What if reincarnation isn't just a mystical concept, but a universal principle woven into the very fabric of our existence? The idea that we're living multiple lives, in various forms, across different realities, could be the missing piece to understanding our soul's purpose. Today, we're going to explore this fascinating concept in a way that's both eye-opening and practical. We'll start by acknowledging the revolutionary work of Dolores Cannon, whose research into past life regression has helped unlock profound insights into the nature of reincarnation. Her groundbreaking methods in past life regression have shown us that our souls are not bound by the linear passage of time, but instead they move through various experiences, accumulating wisdom and growth across lifetimes. But before we get too deep, let's tackle the fundamental question that's on everyone's mind, are past lives real? And if they are, how do they impact our present life, and what can we learn from them? Are past lives real? Exploring the science and the spirituality. Most of us have been taught to think of reincarnation as a myth, a cultural belief, or perhaps just an interesting idea with no real basis in reality. Mainstream science often dismisses the idea of past life memories, writing them off as mere imagination or subconscious fabrications. But as we delve deeper into the fascinating work of Dolores Cannon and other pioneers in the field, we begin to realize that there may be much more to this than meets the eye. Through regression therapy, Dolores uncovered that many people have vivid memories of past lives, memories that are often detailed, specific, and in some cases, remarkably consistent. These aren't just random bits of imagination. They're deeply ingrained recollections that seem to tap into something far greater than our current understanding of time and space. What does this mean for us? Well, it suggests that our soul's journey is not a singular, isolated experience. Instead, it's a vast, multi-dimensional continuum where we live not just one life, but many, all intertwined with one another across different planes of existence. This realization could be the first key to understanding how reincarnation really works and how our past lives are shaping our present reality. Now, speaking of shifting perspectives and unlocking new possibilities, if you want to learn how to attract massive wealth effortlessly, just like millions of others have, there's something powerful waiting for you. Check the link in the comments below to discover the shocking wealth secrets revealed by a rogue NASA scientist. This has already changed the lives of countless people, and right now, access is extremely limited. So don't miss out. Now let's dive back into the fascinating world of reincarnation, the veil of forgetfulness, why we don't remember our past lives. One of the most profound concepts in the study of reincarnation is the idea of the veil of forgetfulness. Imagine, if you will, that before we come into this life, our soul is already carrying the weight of many previous lifetimes, each one filled with lessons, challenges, victories, and even unresolved pain. The veil of forgetfulness is what shields us from remembering these past lives so that we can experience this current life with a fresh perspective. Why is this important? 
because this veil allows us to live fully in the present, without the burden of past lives influencing every decision we make. It provides us with a blank slate, giving us the freedom to create new experiences and growth without being shackled by memories of past mistakes or unresolved issues. It's almost as if the soul is given a new chance, a new opportunity to evolve. But while this veil serves a purpose, it also creates a sense of mystery and longing. Why can't we remember who we were before? And how can we start to lift the veil and access those forgotten memories? The answer lies in spiritual awakening. As we begin to awaken to our true nature, we start to peel back the layers of forgetfulness, unlocking the wisdom and insights of our past lives that are waiting for us to remember. The Soul's Journey From Life Planning to Rebirth Before we are born into this current life, our soul is already at work, carefully planning the experiences we will have. It's not just a random series of events, it's a thoughtful, intentional process where our soul chooses specific circumstances, family members, and even challenges that will help us grow and evolve. This is known as life planning. In this process, our soul works with other souls to create contracts, agreements that outline the roles we will play in each other's lives. These contracts may include relationships with family members, friends, or even individuals we encounter along the way. These agreements are designed to help each soul grow, heal, and fulfill its greater purpose. It's fascinating to consider that you, on a soul level, made these decisions long before you ever stepped foot in this life. The people you meet, the challenges you face, even the seemingly random events that happen, are all part of your soul's blueprint. Everything is interconnected, and every experience has meaning. However, it's important to note that while life planning is essential, it is not set in stone. The soul has free will. Our decisions, choices, and actions in this lifetime shape the path we walk. The beauty of this journey lies in its flexibility. Life is not a rigid plan, but a dynamic process that evolves as we learn and grow. The Role of Lightworkers Souls with a Special Mission Now, you might be wondering, where do light workers fit into all of this? If you've been drawn to spiritual teachings and self-growth, there's a good chance you resonate with the concept of light workers. These are souls who have incarnated with a unique mission to help others grow, heal, and evolve, often in profound ways. Light workers are not only focused on their own personal growth, but also have a deep sense of responsibility toward the collective. Their soul's journey involves not just learning lessons for themselves, but also guiding others toward healing and spiritual enlightenment. If you're a light worker, your soul has a higher purpose, one that transcends the typical concerns of everyday life. You're here to help elevate the consciousness of others and make a lasting impact on the planet. However, even though light workers have a grand mission, they still face the same challenges as everyone else. Their soul contracts may lead them to difficult circumstances and relationships, but their ultimate goal is to make a difference in the lives of others. Their journey, while unique, is no less meaningful than anyone else's. Each person's soul mission is essential to the unfolding of the greater cosmic plan. Avatar Programming – How the Soul Prepares the Physical Body Once life planning is complete, the soul enters a new phase preparing the physical body for incarnation. This stage, known as avatar programming, happens primarily in the womb, where the soul works with the developing body to ensure it's ready for the life it's about to live. During this phase, the soul remains deeply connected to the body, guiding its growth and ensuring that it's aligned with the life plan. But this process isn't just about physical development. It's also about emotional, mental, and spiritual programming. The soul imparts certain lessons and characteristics into the developing child, shaping its personality and preparing it for the challenges ahead. It's during this time that the soul sets the stage for its journey. The body becomes the avatar, a vessel through which the soul will experience life. And while the soul's blueprint is clear, there's always room for flexibility. Free will, again, plays a vital role in the unfolding of each life. Ego development, 
and the dance of free will. As we grow and develop, our sense of self, the ego, begins to take shape. The ego is a necessary part of the human experience. It allows us to navigate the physical world, make decisions, and interact with others. But the development of the ego also introduces challenges. It creates a sense of separation from others and from the soul's true purpose. As we become more identified with our ego, we may start to forget the deeper spiritual connection that guides us. The soul, which was once in charge of our life's path, becomes more of a guide, allowing us to make our own decisions. This shift represents a critical phase in the soul's journey. The dance between the ego and the soul creates both challenges and opportunities for growth, life review, and the afterlife. A new perspective on death. When the soul leaves the physical body, it doesn't just end. Instead, it enters a phase known as the life review. This isn't a judgment day. It's a time of reflection and learning. The soul looks back at its life, evaluating its experiences, decisions, and the lessons it has learned. The life review is an important part of the reincarnation process as it helps the soul prepare for its next life. It's a time of rest, renewal, and spiritual growth, often referred to as the spiritual hangout. During this phase, the soul recharges, connects with other souls, and prepares for the next chapter in its journey. The Reincarnation Loop Birth, Death, and Beyond The cycle of reincarnation is often described as an unending loop of birth, life, death, reflection, and rebirth. Rather than seeing life as a one-time journey with a beginning and end, reincarnation suggests a greater eternal journey where the soul moves through countless lifetimes. Each life adds to the soul's wisdom, and each death provides a chance to pause, reflect, and prepare for the next chapter. Imagine it like a storybook, with each lifetime being a new chapter that builds on the last, continually adding to the overall narrative. This cycle is purposeful. It's designed for growth and self-discovery. Each lifetime offers the soul fresh opportunities to learn specific lessons and experience challenges that refine and evolve its understanding. Just as we, in a single lifetime, face unique events that shape us, the soul experiences different life themes across lifetimes. It might experience roles like parent and child, student and teacher, even leader and follower. These varied experiences help the soul understand more perspectives, develop empathy, and learn the intricate dance of life. When a soul finishes one life, it doesn't simply disappear. Instead, it enters a period of reflection often referred to as the life review. In this phase, the soul looks back on the life it just completed, not with judgment but with the intent to understand and learn. This reflection helps the soul acknowledge the progress it made, the areas where it may have struggled, and the relationships it formed. This insight becomes the foundation for its next lifetime, setting new goals and intentions for growth. The reincarnation process is also multidimensional, meaning that the soul doesn't simply move in a straight line from one life to the next. Many believe that the soul can exist in multiple realities or lifetimes simultaneously, growing in different ways across different lives. Imagine the soul as a vast network, with each life like a branch that contributes to the overall strength and wisdom of the whole. Every experience, whether joyful or challenging, adds depth to the soul's understanding, ultimately contributing to a grander cosmic story. As the soul reincarnates, it carries forward the essence of what it has learned, even if specific memories aren't always consciously accessible. The traits, wisdom, and growth gained from each past life shape the soul's character, influencing its actions, choices, and connections in each new incarnation. This interconnectedness means that our current life and every choice we make impacts not only our present, but also our future and past selves. In this way, the soul's journey is like a spiral that constantly loops forward, yet expands in wisdom and awareness with each turn. In conclusion, reincarnation is not just a belief or a theory. It's a profound truth about who we are and the journey we're all on. 
Each life we live, every experience we have, is part of a greater tapestry that is our soul's evolution. Understanding this process can help us see our challenges, our relationships, and our growth in a whole new light. So, the next time you find yourself facing difficulties or questioning your path, remember that you are not alone in this journey. You are part of an eternal cycle of growth, learning, and transformation. Embrace your life, embrace your soul's purpose, and trust that every step you take is leading you closer to the wisdom and understanding you were always meant to discover. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video insightful, consider subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, you are loved and your journey is just beginning. Stay open to the mysteries of the soul's path. There's so much more to explore.